Hello Aquarius and welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio and these are my tarot cards. And this is the 2022 prediction for Aquarius. Okay, so before I go on and read your cards and energies for the next year, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, uh, feel free to contact me on my Instagram or on my website and all the contact details. And you can also check out my YouTube channel where I upload free readings. That's all there in the description of this episode. Okay, so please feel free to reach out to me. Okay, now coming to your reading. I have pulled three cards for one area of your life, for each area of your life, uh, for the next year. So this is the area of love and romance. This is the area of career and finances. And this is for the area of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. Okay. So for the area of love and romance, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is nice. Actually, you know, I really like this card. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards in the tarot. And um, yeah, I really like uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Because uh, it talks about sudden good luck, especially when it's upright like this. Okay, so this means that things would turn unexpectedly. Oh, did I just hit the camera? I did. I'm so sorry. I got so excited that I just hit the camera. Anyway, so uh, this means that things would suddenly take a U-turn in the most beautiful, unexpected way in the next year in terms of love and romance. So this means that if you are afraid that maybe, you know, you are in a relationship now you want to get married so you you don't know when it's going to happen but i would say it's going to suddenly happen okay <laughs> suddenly you're married okay in in a few weeks in a matter of a few of a month i'm getting like very 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 sudden very sudden and unexpectedly if you're completely single it's like meeting somebody out of nowhere it's like going out of the super out in the supermarket and coming back home with your soulmate Okay, so it's that sort of an energy that I'm getting in the area of love and romance. Now, if you're already married, you know, so whatever is the next step, whatever is your desired step in your, in terms of love and ro romance, in terms of the next step in that, okay, this could be like you are already happily married. And so, I don't know, you become happier all of a sudden. Okay, as a couple and you thought that you know everything about your husband or your wife or whoever you're in a relationship with. And now suddenly you know much more and you are in a much deeper commitment and happy or marriage, happy or marriage. So that's really good in, uh, in the area of love and romance. And also this is a major arcana. So this means that again, uh, this would not be something that you would consciously do. So if you're completely single, I don't think like, uh, you know, you would actually be looking out for somebody uh, this would just happen naturally and organically and suddenly okay i like it um so next in the area of your career and finances we have the justice card so the justice card is also one of my favorite cards this is also a major arcana and it talks about bringing balance this is bringing karma back into your basket so uh, understand that karma is never a bad thing, be it good or bad. Okay, karma is actually never good or bad. It's like whatever you give out in the universe, you'll get back. So uh, if you have been putting a lot of efforts towards your goals, if you have like, you know, always had good intentions, then that's going to come back to you a thousand times, okay, a thousand fold. But at the same time, if you feel like you have not been giving your 100% or, you know, you, somebody uh, has been mean to you and those people will get their karma back. Okay. So it's, it's, it's like a fair energy, but uh, a, a quite a fair energy, actually. So whatever you give in the next year, remember, that's exactly what you will get back. So you reap whatever you sow. It's not like you, you would you sow the seeds of, I don't know, papaya tree and then suddenly you get a mango tree. That's not going to happen, okay? If you sow papaya tree, then you'll get a papaya tree. This is simple, straightforward karma, which is actually really good. So, I, and I'm sure that you all have been putting in a lot of efforts. So, if you think that you don't see your results, I think next year would prove you that karma exists and good karma really comes back a thousand times a thousand falls okay 
and uh, next in the area of your physical mental emotional and spiritual health we have the king of swords so the king of swords is the king of communication okay i would say um if you're a person who holds back uh, emotions a lot this year releasing and expressing your emotions your needs would really benefit you okay because you don't know how many people around you are wise enough so i also see that on the uh, shoulder of this king of swords in this deck we have a crow or a raven uh, so raven and crows are actually my favorite birds a lesser known fact i know nobody likes crows but i think they're really smart and they're like the most notorious and the smartest birds and highly misunderstood and very mischievous and i love them so shout out to all the crows if you're watching the video i don't think a crow is watching the video anyway so <laughs> so <laughs> the crow anyway signifies a very intelligent advice so in in area of your physical mental emotional health i would say express more the more you express the more you reach out for help the more help you will get you cannot expect other people to just reach out to you if this has been your approach you know of expecting other people to treat you in a specific way without you expressing your needs without you telling them how you like to be loved then i think maybe it's time to change that okay um and you will feel actually much more satisfied and more in power that you did that okay so uh, also now i have pulled three cards uh, which uh, three cards that would tell us the important months for the next year 2022 for aquarius so we have may and we have august and then we have the somber that's german that's not of your accent maybe of your german accent but this is december okay so these three months could be quite significant for you in the next year 2022 uh for aquarius so yeah so that's all that i have for you today and i hope that this was helpful in some way and i will see you again next time bye bye